Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cosmic Cyclone YouTube channel. I hope all of you are safe and doing great in life. Today's video will focus purely on how to identify your passion, mission, vocation and profession in real life as a minimalist and how to live a happy life being a minimalist. So let's dive into the main video without wasting further time. Living happily isn't just for the characters in fairy tales. Everyone wants to live happily, but you must have observed only a few of them around. Ikigai, a Japanese phrase that means a reason for being, is a concept from Japan that actually has core values aligned to minimalism. People choose minimalism because they want to find a better reason for being. They want to get over their past and move on towards better. Every person should have at least one Ikigai, for which he will be spending his entire life. Finding an Ikigai seems difficult for many people, but in this video, I'm going to reveal the core principles and techniques of finding your Ikigai, which perfectly fits for minimalists. Published in 2016, the self-help book Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long Happy Life by Hector Garcia and Francesc Milares, explores the concept of Ikigai, which can be described as the intersection between what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you're good at. Minimalism. Just by looking at how the word is derived from the word minimal, you may think that it's about having less stuff in your purse or at the back of your closet, but in fact I'm telling you, minimalism is not about having less material possession. No, it's not about having a smaller house, less number of cars, or less money. The real meaning of minimalism goes beyond that. Minimalism, it is about minimal and less stuff, but it is also about bringing you more purpose and value serving things in our life. And it doesn't necessarily need to be something material or physical. It can mean more time or more freedom. Simply put, more room for joy and happiness into our lives. I'm sure you would be able to relate how minimalism and ikigai are relevant. So you must have a question in your mind that, as a minimalist, how can I know my ikigai? I'm yet to know the exact reason for being. We are about to do an exercise that will not only find out your passion, mission, vocation and profession in real life, but it would reveal your exact reason for being. Please comment down below if you want to find out your life's mission, passion, profession, and vocation, and for what reason, and what is stopping you from doing so. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be covering more interesting stories, case studies, and facts about minimalism in the upcoming 20 plus videos. Hit the bell icon to receive all the updates from this channel in the future. With the help of four circles and their intersections, it becomes super easy to identify your mission, vocation, profession, and passion. In the first circle, Write down what you actually love doing. It may be cooking, coding, painting, or anything. Just write it down. In the second circle, you'll need to write down what you're good at. Your expertise and skills should be mentioned in this circle. In the third circle, you need to write down what the world needs in resemblance with what you love. You need to know what the world wants. And in the last, inside the fourth circle, you need to write down for what you can get paid. These points would be worth mentioning here related in your work and life. As you've written all of the points, you need to observe intersections between these circles. The intersections between the first and second circle reveals your passion. The intersection between the first and third circle reveals your mission. The intersection between the third and fourth circle reveal your vocation. The intersection between the fourth and the second circle reveals your profession. This exercise will clarify what things you should focus on for a happy life as per the Ikigai principles. After doing the above exercise, I would like to talk about your passion. To know your passion, you need to clarify two important things to yourself. The first is to know about yourself. Failed people don't know about themselves. The second thing is where do you spend most of your time? Failed people don't analyze this ever. These two are the main reasons for not getting success. Thus, I would request you to note both of the above points and analyze them. The illusion we perceive from the postmodern world can be overwhelming and dangerous to us and our well-being. And if to live a meaningful life, we need to have more, consume more, be more than others, and other more. Until we forget to stop and ask ourselves, is it what we really want in life? What purpose does it have? What value does it bring us? Minimalism and Ikigai is a gentle reminder for all of us. After all, we're just human beings trying to live a happy, stress-free life. If you found your passion, mission, vocation, and possible profession of life through this video, please comment down below. It would be great to hear from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be covering more interesting stories, use cases, and facts about minimalism in the upcoming 20 plus videos. Hit the bell icon to receive all the updates from this channel in the future. 
That'll be it for today. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.